as was mentioned in the previous video, in the, the intro video, we're either going to be given a, uh, a y-intercept and a slope, a point and a slope, or two points. And seeing as that's sufficient information to draw a line, it's sufficient information to have the equation of the line. So, for number three, we have the problem of the first kind where you have a y-intercept and a slope. And remember, that's going to be really easy because we have this thing called slope intercept form, this, where m is the slope and b is a y-intercept. If we know those numbers, we could just plug them right in there. So for number three, we know that the slope is 0, and the y-intercept is 2. So our equation is y equals 0x plus 2, or y equals 2, since 0 times x would be 0. All right. And number six, very similar thing. m equals 2 thirds, the slope is 2 thirds, and the y-intercept is 4. So y equals 2 thirds x plus 4. Pretty, pretty simple stuff there. Okay. Now what if we're given a point and a slope? Uh, we're given that there's a point at 3, negative 1, and that the slope is negative 3. Okay. Remember from the previous video, I really recommend if you didn't watch that to watch that last part, just the last uh, minute or 45 seconds of that video where I explain that y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. We just took the, the formula for the slope and we rewrote it a little bit so that uh, we come up with this point slope form. Um, so now what we can do, um, and you know, to find the slope, you can find the slope if you have two points. The thing about this is we have one point, but then we have the slope given. Um, so we have a y that we don't know, but we have a y that we do know. And we have an x that we don't know, and we have an x that we do know, but we also do know the slope. So uh, we have this y that we don't know minus this negative 1 that we do know equals m times this x that we don't know minus this x, this x right here that we do. Okay, so this guy went here, this one went over here. Uh, and we just filled in these pieces of the point slope form. So now we have y plus 1 equals negative 3x plus 9. If we distribute this negative and distribute this negative 3, and we'll subtract 1 on both sides. So y equals negative 3x plus 8. So there is our slope intercept form of, our, uh, of the equation of our line. Let's do one more of that kind, number 13. And 8 comma 13 is a point that it goes through, and the slope is negative 9. Uh, so again, we use the point-slope form. We don't know uh, one of the y's, but we do know this y, this one. So y minus 13 equals m times x minus x1. We don't know this x but we do know that one. That's enough for the equation of the line. So y minus 13 equals negative 9x plus 72. And y equals, we'll add 13 on both sides, negative 9x plus 85. And there's the equation of our line. All right, next example, number 20. So we have to be a little clever here. Remember that to write the equation of a line, just like uh, you know, the information that's necessary is just like the information that's necessary to draw a line, we need two points or we need a, some point and the slope, okay? Whether that point is a random point or the y-intercept. Um, that's what we have to have. We have to be able to, to create two points to draw this line, whether we're given the two points or a point and a way to find a second point. We need that information. So what we have in number 20 are these facts. It goes through this point, 
and it's parallel to uh, y equals negative 4x plus 1. So we have this point, and we know we need either another point or we need the slope. Now, all we know, the rest that we know is that it's parallel to this other line. Okay, so if we were to draw this out really quickly, we know that there's some line that we want to find that goes through negative 3, negative 5. That's like over here. And it's parallel to this guy here, which goes through a y-intercept of 1. It has a slope of negative 4. So it's something like that. Okay, so we know that our line is parallel to this line. It just runs alongside this line. So this information that is parallel to this line doesn't tell us anything about another point specifically that this goes through. It doesn't somehow uh, whisper to us that, it, hey, it goes through uh, x is negative uh, 4, comma 0. That, that doesn't tell us anything like that. But it does tell us what direction to go or the slope. So we can pull the slope information out of this. So we have a, a point, and we can also find out that the slope is what? Well, this is written in point or in a slope intercept form. Here's the slope, here's the y intercept. So from all of this, all we really find out is that the slope is negative 4, but that's great. That's enough information for us. Now we have a point and a slope. We'll use the point slope form. y minus negative 5 equals negative 4 times x minus negative 3. So y plus 5 equals negative 4x. My computer's having a fit at the moment. Um, and this is positive 3, so negative 4 times positive 3 is negative 12. And subtract 5 on both sides. y equals negative 4x minus 17. Okay. Um, and over here, let's do number 23. Now we know that it goes through a point 4, comma 1 and that it's perpendicular to this other line, not parallel, but perpendicular to 1 third x plus 3. So it goes through this point, and it's perpendicular to this guy. So again, it, it tells us, similar to this one, um, Oh, I see what I did wrong there. Okay, so kind of an optical illusion there. Sorry, I got tricked by myself. Uh, kind of like this one. This we were given a point, and that it was parallel to this guy, but this one's going to be perpendicular. Okay, it's not this exact picture, but it's going to cut across and and cut this guy at a ninety degree angle. And remember, the thing that we know about two perpendicular lines: perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocals as their slopes negative reciprocals. So our slope is going, this one's positive, so ours is going to be negative. And it's going to be the reciprocal of 1 third, which is 3 over 1, or just 3. So negative 3. So we're going to use a point slope form again. y minus 1, there's that y value, equals the slope, negative 3 over 1, times x minus 4. So y equals, I'm going to do all this stuff at once. I'm going to add 1 on both sides, and I'm going to distribute this negative 3. So negative 3 times x would be negative 3x. Okay, and negative 3 times negative 4 would be positive 12. So I would write plus 12, except for I'm also adding 1, so plus 13. And there's the equation of our line for number 23. Number 30. 30. We are given two points. Okay, so 2, comma 9. So how are we going to write an equation for this line? There's, uh, there's the slope-intercept form, and there's the point-slope form. Um, we don't have the slope uh, at all right now. So we, we can't use e either form, but we could find the slope. Uh, this is an exercise from uh, a previous section where we just found the slope by uh, just randomly choosing one of these to be 0.1, 1.2. We'll call this 
point one, so this is x1 and y1, this is x2 and y2. Uh, so x2 is, or sorry, now we start with y2 minus y1 on the, in the numerator, 3 minus 9 over x2 minus x1, that's negative 1 minus 2, so negative 6 over negative 3 or positive 2. So our slope is 2. We have 2 as a slope and we have two points. So we could use either one of these points, put the point and the slope into point slope form and we'll find it. Either point will do. Um, I'll choose this one because they're both positive. So y minus 9 equals 2 times x minus 2. y minus 9 equals 2x minus 4. y equals 2x uh, plus 5. So there's our equation for number 30. For number 35, we're given negative 5, negative 2, and negative 3, comma 8. So again, we'll just find the slope. The slope's going to be y2 minus y1. So let's just do 8 minus negative 2 over x2 minus x1, negative 3 minus negative 5. That's 8 plus 2, that's 10. Over negative 3 plus 5, that's 2, so we get a slope of 5. And the point slope form, y minus, I'll choose this one because it has at least one positive, y minus 8 equals m times x minus, uh, let's see, this we used 8, so we use negative 3. y minus 8 equals 5x plus 15 y equals 5x plus 23. All right, that's if you have two points. You just find the slope with those two points and put it in point slope form. Number 40, um, they want us to do something that's slightly challenging I guess. Uh, they give us the slope and they give us the y-intercept. Uh, okay so we could write an equation easy right? y equals mx plus b. y equals negative 3x plus 5 except for what they want is it uh, to be written in standard form. Okay remember standard form. This is our memory cloud coming out is ax plus by equals c. That's a number times x plus a number times y equals some other number. So we'll just rewrite this one that way. We'll get x and y together on one side and a number on the other. So if we add 3x on both sides, we get 3x plus y equals 5. And again, my computer is freaking out. Okay, equals 5. 3x plus y equals 5. Okay, last example, number 43. m equals 4 thirds. Nope, 4 fifths. And it passes through 2, 3. 2, comma, 3. Okay, well, the slope and the point is enough for the point slope form y minus 3 equals 4 fifths times x minus 2. Uh, and now we need it in standard form. So we'll get y minus 3 equals 4 fifths x minus 8 fifths, if we distribute that 4 fifths. Um, we need to get it, the x's on one side and the, the numbers on the other side, the x's and y's on one side and the numbers on the other side. So we'll subtract 4 fifths x, so negative 4 fifths x plus y, and then we'll add 3 on both sides. Let's get rid of that 3. So we'll have negative 8 fifths plus 3. That's going to be, so we add 3 on this side and 
add 3 on this side, 3 would be 15 fifths. So 15 fifths minus 8 fifths is 7 fifths. Let me just double check. Um, and uh, this would be fine. What we could do instead uh, to make it so that these aren't fractions, we can multiply both sides by 5. Uh, and that will give us negative 4x plus 5y equals 7. Either one of these is technically in standard form. That would be fine. Um, and that is all. Thanks for watching.